All right, I'll do it. That's the spirit. I'll only so, have three dolls anyway. Yeah, because everyone is active right token now. Token so. Nine tokens from just going into the yep, climate. not bad. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Decent, acceptable. Uh, well, I ha clearly have too many orcs to go into decline at this point. Yes. Um, so I'll probably just smash on some in decline people over here. Just try to, I was gonna say, try to balance it out a bit. So we'll get a little bit of rat, a little Amazon. I'm totally balanced. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> and I would love to hit some more giants, but again, the mountain makes it slightly yeah. more annoying. Um, you can't take out one of the Amazons in the south. Well, I can't. I have one dude left, so I need to do a roll regardless. So I'll go for one of the easier rolls. Still, no. <laughs> nope. ah! oh, always <laughs> blank all the time. The dice doesn't like you. No. Thank goodness, um, because the dice hates me and my bloody role-playing stuff. Don't know if uh, Briar has mentioned it to you, my propensity for rolling natural ones. Mm -hmm. well, all and the thing is, the bloody Briar has, time. has a reality distortion field when it comes to die rolls. Really? Uh, yeah, oh yeah, he's super good. He's got a magic power when it comes to dice. That's funny, because I'm pretty much known for rolling ones. Like, I roll a crazy amount of ones, disproportionately larger number. But whenever I'm working with someone nice. else, they start rolling ones and I start rolling twenties. <laughs> it's like I'm a luck vampire. I just have an aura siphoning everyone else's good oh, rolls right. away. Well, you know, uh, when you make a D and D character, you know you have to get your stats. Most people will use a point by system or something like that, an array yeah. system, to sort of pick their stats based on a point system. Mm -hmm. Briar loves to roll. He also <laughs> loves to roll for his hit points, which <laughs> no one in their right mind does anymore. You take like that the sounds like a terrible idea. Yeah. yeah, and it works out. He'll roll max all the time. His characters <laughs> end up being like. 18, 18, 16. Like, and he rolls in front of us. <laughs> you watch him roll this shit. It's not even a right. Anyway, enough of that. How are the skeletons? Wow. Um, why is it four to attack your uh, farmlands up here, the humans? Uh, it really shouldn't be. It, it should says be three. Maybe, is it the card on top or is it the card... And when, it, when, you, when you mouse over, it shows you two different sets of cards. It shows you uh, like a, a pack on top and a pack on bottom. Which is the attacking pack? The one on top or the one on the bottom? Uh, I don't know. It should only take three for you to dislodge one of my humans. Okay. Okay, you're right. Interesting. Dude! I don't <laughs> like all these skeletons. Hello there. Dude! What are you doing? Oh my god! Oh, come on! <laughs> Thank all you, right. Mike. your good dice rolls. War on Shenrir. <laughs> that was glorious. Avax like... already beat you to that. Oh, that was absolutely glorious. That Let's was all team up against genuinely really funny to watch. I love how he's like, oh, we're on Shenry, is it? Okay, redeploying my troops out of the, the southern lines. Clearly can't trust those bloody orcs. Glorious. Right, that'll do. And it's still so dangerous to try and take out your trolls on the mountains. They cost so much to do. Fourteen? War on Shenry. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's a bit too much. Ah, glorious. All right, spirit trolls. Um, you, got this. you know who to attack. Yeah, the rats. No, no. no, that's not the rats. Come on now, attack the rats. No, no, I'm pretty pretty happy with that actually. Um, and plus I can't do it. Oh, I've got a better chance of taking that one. Da. Almost. Um... Okay. I'm happy with a measly nine, and Shannon's like, yeah, I'll just can get 14. Okay, so Ain't no I can pick something. Yeah. So question about the whole spirit thing that Avac has. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do we take out his... Uh, do we have to do we have to just conquer his ogre provinces, his orc provinces, to get uh, rid of that bonus uh, that he has? Uh, what the spirit thing? Spirit thing just means you can have two races in decline. Yeah. So they're just like normal decline races. Okay. Nothing special. Yeah. Nothing special. Except for the fact that when my trolls go into decline, they'll still have their troll layers, which will make him a little bit harder to conquer than normal. Right. right, and also any Amazons he has left on the board would still be there. I mean, theoretically, if all the Amazons get killed off then he gains no business, no bonus yeah. from the spirit at this time. Yeah, gotcha. 
Don't look at me. <laughs> Not, nothing to see here. Can Let's you set up along. on your little... Is it automatically set up there? Yeah. Yeah, the first two places he pops up. Yep. Gotcha. And yeah, I was definitely going to take the halflings and eggs to go. Although I'm not 100% sure I'm going to decline yet. We'll see. The orcs are still uh, doing pretty good. You should pop up in the middle of the skeletons. Yeah. The, ske the hill skeletons there near the humans at the top. Again, it'll be an impossible thing for anyone I else to take. I can't tell which style is actual hills. I think all the green ones are hills. Yeah. Okay. Oh, those look like grasslands. Those are hills. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I, think I know. So. No, I but yeah, go. the yellow are plains, the brown are swamp, the green is hills. Oh, now I have and to use the border uh, region. Yeah, I have to use the border region now. The game won't let me do anything else. Your halfling tokens may enter the map through any region of the map, not just border. Yeah, ones. I did that already. But then once. you can go adjacent to that. Although, yeah. Oh, the first two regions you conquer are immune. Okay, so you can't... I thought you could put the first two anywhere you wanted. So you can put yeah. the first mm -hmm. one anywhere you want. After yeah, that, you put it anywhere. There you go. So those are your, your two burrows. So no one will be able to come into the edge of the map there. Not until the halflings go into decline. Yep. Okay. All right, done. Interesting, interesting tactic, that one. My lord, you got too many tokens. That is... That is... Wow. Oh, that's, wow. It's only that 20. is a lot. They are <laughs> decimating us. Uh, I didn't beat the top score, which was 14 in one turn. Yeah, that was, that was insane. I don't think so, in all the times I've played that I've ever had 14 in one go. There's a chance that it could maybe take over two tiles, which would effectively give me an extra four income this turn, because one for each kill as well as having the tile itself. Worth it. Maybe. I'm also wondering about declining, although, because I have, what, one human left? Uh, yes. One human left. Hmm... And I kind of like, I think the salt-powered Dragon Master Tritons are really going to be the future of, of my gameplay strategy. Just pure salt power. So I'm actually going to decline. I don't think it's the right move, but the salt must flow. Indeed. I mean, there's not much you can do at this point to be perfectly fair to you. Yeah. And I would have gotten the next turn. Instead of four, I would have gotten eight. But then the next turn would have been probably really bad, as I suspect my orcs would get trashed pretty heavily. Yeah. I've only got five skeletons now. Gross. Too many. No, if I wanted to take out five one of many. these orcs, if I wanted to take out one of these orcs, it'd be all five tokens. Mm -hmm. The trolls, That's you mean. so bad. Trolls, sorry. Yeah, that's why I left two on each one. Leave the orcs alone. <laughs> There's only four of them. Orcs are However, too. you may notice that because Quill went into decline with a second race, the first race is completely removed from the board. Oh. So there's a tile just north yeah, yeah. of you that is completely free and only requires two. Yeah, yeah. but I don't know I mean, if I wanna... Ideally, you want to kill at least two dudes every turn so you get an extra skeleton. Yeah. But it doesn't always yeah. work it just, it just Go for the rats like... to the north. That's true. No! <laughs> They've only got one on each tile, so it's yeah. only three. So you get one kill guaranteed, and then you only need to roll a one on a second one. Yeah. Then you get an extra skeleton at the end of that turn. But notice how Havoc is trying to steer you away from himself. I just get the feeling like going to Klein now would be better. Only with five skeletons, I can't really kill much with that. It's just yeah. too I mean, you do lose your attack. alchemist, course, yeah. but going yeah. to Klein is often very strong. And you've still got... Oh, well, no, now you don't have your trolls. Uh, right, you're yeah, yeah, you're you're the trolls. Yeah. That's better. That's a, a more... That's a, that's a normal amount for you to have. I approve of that. <laughs> <laughs> you would. <laughs> ah! Oh no. The other interesting thing about this game is there's literally a different board depending on how many players you play, including yes. like in the physical oh. version. There's mm -hmm. two boards and they're both double sided. So it's All set right. up for two, three, four, and five players, so they're balanced no matter what. Which is very nice. It guarantees that the world is always small and very tight. And yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh. And and these troll layers. Yeah, they're bad news. And the spirit trolls in particular, that is rough. Okay, my turn. Hmm. Good luck expanding into my troll layers, you filthy fat little hobbits. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, I got the trolls. Dragon! Uh. Turns out trolls are weak to fire. Everyone knows that. And so acid, as it happens. Work, then? Is it just uh, I'm not convinced of the best Just one tile. 
action, can you just do that once a turn? Yes. Oh. oh I thought gets... it was just a one-time thing. No, no. Once per turn. That's right. Kill off the skeletons. Also, the orcs. <laughs> you don't want that quill I getting any money. I see what you're trying to do. <laughs> the orcs, yeah. Triple I'm basically F trying to help you because mm -hmm. you'd have to use all of your halflings to take the only place where you can attack with a troll or roll a dice or go for the orc with only three halflings and then still get to try and attack like one more. just wants me not to attack you. <laughs> help me help you. <laughs> Done. <laughs> uh... Oh, actually, no, that did make that sense because that, that, that was actually a, a hill. I didn't even <laughs> notice that. Only 15. I'm so poor. <laughs> uh, guys, I think we might have a new leader here. Yeah, I <laughs> no, know. there's nothing to see here. Yeah, I, 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 long. I, that is I don't actually think, kind I mean, of I frightening. I can't punish the halflings, really, though. No, you can't come in I on the board no close enough to going. attack them. Because <laughs> I want to attack Coast, obviously. <laughs> yes. Um, and that's just ridiculous. So that, that, dragon that, do that. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to... So I'm going to come in over here and then to use the dragon. Do I drag it? Yeah, there we go. So I'm going to drag in this troll away using only one dude. Bow! And then I'm going to keep mopping up the coast. Uh-oh. Does that hill count as coast? Oh, it does. Very nice. Then you so... only need one tile on that farm as well. So who's going to pick the amazing forest dwarf combo? <laughs> I think this I is coastal connected. too on the lake. Uh, I think you can reconnect. Need you help? Um, nope. Oh, you disconnected. I don't see anyone doing anything, no. Uh, go ahead and just, uh, <gasps> exit out and then try to get back in, I guess. Oh, uh, come on. Poor little grad. He no was so peaceful. Oh, Shenra has left the game. He's now replaced by a robot. Beep boop. I mean, he wasn't a robot to begin with. I don't see it joinable. Uh, maybe you can't rejoin. Is there no like game in progress? Let me see. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm not going to end my turn yet because you're that's next. That's the one. The robot would Thank play. you. Hey! Yay! Nice. Okay, all okay. is forgiven, game, because there's some games that we played where you can't come back in after you disconnected. Mm -hmm. That's right. They're far less clunky, but all is forgiven for that one oh ability God. alone. I think that might be my first double digit turn. Uh, except well maybe the turn I picked wealthy, which hardly counts. The comeback is real. Yep. Um, oh, it's showing me Avac and Marwazir's turns now. It's just playing them for me. Okay. Oh, it's catching you up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Interesting. Did you so just here's what you missed, fine. everyone. That's odd. I, I have to redeploy <laughs> my troops. I can't... Yeah, it's your turn for me. Yeah. yeah. I was going to go into decline, but apparently that is not an option for me. Maybe he's waiting for Shane to catch up. Uh, that's all I can imagine. Did it skip Shen's turn, though? It may have, but all I can do is redeploy. I don't have any option to conquer or do anything else, which is a bit of annoyance, but uh, oh well. Mm -hmm. Goes to no, Shen, then. Turn. Yeah, oh. I just have to... I didn't get anything for oh. my turn. Oh! There we go. No, that's why. Because, okay, yeah. when a region gets conquered, if you have more than one dude on it, one dude dies and is removed from the game, but the okay. other dudes... Get go, go into your inventory and then you redeploy at the end. So you were redeploying at the end of my turn. Oh, oh okay. right. So I, okay. You had two trolls and a tile. I killed one. The other one ran away and you could redeploy him. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. That's fine then. Yeah, it's important to remember. Right, even check. if a stack has like ten dudes on it and it gets cleared by say a dragon, only one dude gets killed. And actually, if you're playing elves, zero dudes get killed. I have no idea what I should be picking here. Hmm. Something what's weak. Merchant? weak. Something really we weak. What, what is Merchant? Merchant? Mer All right. I think it's a plus oh, one. I'm asking what, what that is because I can't check. Yeah, he wasn't recommending it. Oh, well, I was running out of time. <laughs> I've only got three minutes left, so I'm not sure what I can do here. Um, merchant, collect one bonus victory coin for any region you occupy at the turn's end. So it's fairly powerful. So ideally, you want as many magic -y tiles as you can. Yeah, coming in there makes a lot of sense, especially since you get that and a good eye roll. Oh! No. Still, at least you get bonus coins with your uh, your wizards. They're, like, because they're merchants. 
Wait, it's your turn, but... Whose turn is it right now? Because I can wow. pick... Wow, Shen's. Race. It's Shen's turn. Now it's Avex. Now it's Avex, yeah. You see, my timer's down to two minutes, so mm -hmm. I can't yeah, just yeah. sit around. You gotta go fast. That's the one thing with these 15-minute timers. Literally, the longest this could be is one hour. Yeah. yeah. Literally, and it usually won't. Decline trolls. I had so few tokens, and I was so clustered where I was that there was just no point in me trying. Sword Surge seemed pretty good. Yeah, yeah the mind control, control is pretty good. Return. Try it out. Oh, now it's uh, my turn. Or what? Yep. Yeah. My, my timer was running. Oh, he's still active. He's not in decline, so he can't take Sorcerers anyway. Okay. Man, those tridents worked out pretty well for you. Yeah. They will take a lot of territory. I don't know how many points they'll earn. That's the thing. Like, some dudes are really good at taking a lot of territory, but if they don't generate bonus coins, then what's the difference, right? Yeah. Tritons are, like, again, the, the mm -hmm. Dragon Master Tritons in particular are good for, like, the vengeance or targeting someone who's ahead and having to deny them coins. You won't earn yeah. as much money yourself, but you might be able to deny a bunch of money. Right. Which, honestly, all you guys have had such monstrous turns. I don't know. I don't know who to target. I don't know who's in the lead. Nice roll. That wow. was actually a really good roll, yeah. And you got a hill out of it. Axe. Oh, yeah. Yep. So, again, with the source... I genuinely can't tell whether it's Shen or Mob who's in the lead. <laughs> <at the> moment. <laughs> so, again, if you pick the sorcerers, what you want to do is you want to target places that have a single active race. In there. Look at this score. Holy crap! <laughs> he earned 15 last turn, 16! I can give you a hint who's in the lead. I take it back, yeah, I'm fairly certain <laughs> I know me. who's in the lead at this point. I have no idea who you're talking about. Uh, I think the dragons might come and eat some halflings. Those damnable <laughs> hobbitses. No! But Filthy, fat so hobbitses. He still has his rat race. points, too. I know, he's got loads of rats on the board. <laughs> That's why he's getting such monstrous rolls. No one's, no one's killing off the rats. Yeah, well. Huh? Did I get targeted? Am I in redeploy mode? Oh, sorry, that wasn't adjacent to where I'm trying to go. That's why I'm confused. Uh, there we go, that's the one I want to do. Uh, so I'll kill off some hobbiting. I still need a roll for that, because that's unappealing. Uh, but the rats are Marbazeers as well? Yep. Yeah. I mean, I like targeting active races, because it means that they can't, you know, that he has one less dude to continue to expand. But I gotta go for the guaranteed one, because apparently I can never roll anything. <laughs> <laughs> and actually I think I'll leave the trio there to defend against the wizards just in case and that's it Come that's on. my turn maybe I should have gone decline I only took wizards two are peaceful Ugh. and I only have two freaking orcs left because halflings are conquering them halfling bastards <laughs> your orcs well, are being I'm killed <laughs> by halflings <laughs> let's just put that back into perspective again Oh, oh yeah, it's not like you can deploy my defeated troops. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Just gotta redeploy. Yep. Alright. Yay, rat killing wizards! The other nice thing about targeting the active race is if you wipe out someone's declined race, then they're like, well, I guess I'll just decline because I'm not going to lose anything. But if you target their active race and then they have to go into decline and they lose all their decline tokens, that hurts. Yeah. yeah. Ten turns. Nice. Ten, ten coins. Wow, so many coins there. That is actually obscene. You've done really well with your alchemist skeletons, your merchant wizards. My goodness. I don't think I'm doing anywhere near as Marbazir. Yeah, I, I think Marbazir may have snuck in here. <laughs> no comment. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> so, how are goals weird? You um, mentioned that earlier. When ghouls are in decline, you still get to use them as if they were an active race. Oh, okay. yeah. But this late in the game, oh, uh, Shen just left the game replaced by a robot again. What in the world? 
<laughs> All right, hope it's quick. You have plenty of time. On my timer. It's still, yeah. Well, it's not using your timer, and Avex turn still yeah. there. He's picking his race. Considering the hero humans. So yeah, uh, the races. There's actually an uneven number of races plus modifiers. Yeah. And when you when a race goes into decline and gets mm. trashed, eventually it, it gets recycled to the bottom of the deck. So the humans have come back, okay. but this time they're heroic humans instead of wealthy humans. Oh, ah, gotcha. And it's stout giants. Right. So now, what again, does heroic mean? Uh, um, he gets to put down two hero tokens. And I think it just makes it those areas non-attackable. I don't think it yeah. helps the humans attack, but I think it means mm -hmm. wherever the heroic tokens are, they can't be attacked there. Okay. And I think he gets to put them, he moves them around every turn. So it's like yeah. the halfling thing, but they're not static. Yeah, Swamp yeah. sorcerers, make it happen. Yes. Right, these sorcerers are going to be scary. Can you take out the halflings or not? No. Actually, yeah, if he halflings comes in... Halflings are so peaceful. non He can mind control some definite stuff over there. Make sure to use your power. How can I use my power? Oh, you actually, you're not going to be able to. You have to be adjacent to a province that only has one dude in it. One active dude. There we go. Oh, an active dude. Conk. Oh, there uh, you go. You nice. Need a guy left. There you go. See, it just converts the, the halfling over. Boom. Nice and job. You, you can do that for every single player on the board, assuming he can get in location. Where he's adjacent time, to. Uh, no, in a, in a turn, he could theoretically do it three times. If he was somehow adjacent to all three of us, where we only had one Finally, oh, I got a good nice. roll. It's the only one I've had, so I mean, it's not going to change anything, but I feel a little bit less bad with these people rolling like 14s and 16s. Well, I think I have to go into decline here. <laughs> yeah, your halflings don't have a lot of juice left. I mean, you do still get anyway. the bonus money from your hills, which is nice. Yeah. But yeah, so if you don't have any rats... I'll still get a decent each turn. Well, not that great, but... We've all had those. <laughs> it will do. It yeah. will have been worse on the next turn. So this is turn 9 of 9, is that it? Yep. Right, so if I went and declined this turn, it would be stupid. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's why I didn't go for the ghouls, pretty much. Or the stout giants, because at this point, having a, an ability that is reliant on decline, no good. Absolutely yeah. no good. So I think... I don't know who to hit. I think hitting Mar... Well, yeah, I'm going to hit Marzir with one more dragon eating halflings. I mean, dragons... Uh, halflings are delicious. <laughs> that is true. No, they aren't. <laughs> um, There's not then... enough meat on them. <laughs> you what? They have. They eat like eight times a day. But That's all they are. Lot. They're fat and meat. That's it. They've got tiny little but bones very short surrounded by fat and meat. Well done. Nice. I, I literally have no troops to redeploy. So I'm going to hit done. And this is the last turn I'm going to score. So at this point, I don't care if you guys kill my stuff. Literally has no impact on me whatsoever. Yep. So is that the benefit of going first? Uh, there's pros really and cares. cons to going first, right? But 13. Yeah. Very Not nice. Odd. Very nice roll. That's my best one so far. I can't remember. Did I do a 12 at one point? Or just an 11? I think you did 10. Maybe a 10, yeah. So not any monstrously good turns. We'll see. So if you want to deny Avek and Marb money, you can do that by attacking them. You could still attack me for territory to earn more points. But it won't actually um, won't hurt me. Yeah. And then with Avek, he can target Marbazir if he wants to deny points, but otherwise he's most likely going to be looking to maximize money. And then yeah. Marbazir going last, he the only optimization he cares about is the thing he can do to earn most coins, since yeah. there's no he, he has no denying power, but it also gives right. him freedom, conversion. Boop. That's hilarious. Yeah. And. If you could kill the double stack of wizards, you can convert a wizard over. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I needed to grab the halfling because of the swamp bonus, but come on, one. Uh -huh. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Lolo, Scallywaggery. Weird, though. Why wouldn't you go after Marbazir since I've already scored my points? He, he, he can't go after the two dots at the bottom. I wanted the swamp. Immune. Oh, the swamp. Or, or, right, right, or right. you mean, and, and then the wizards, if you went after the wizards, it's I'd just gain an extra, extra turn, yeah. yeah. I'd right. gain an extra territory because, well, I wouldn't be able to grab the other swamp, which would have been grand, but I would have still got an extra forest, mm -hmm. which, you know. So it's all a little bit more. 
Yeah, and you couldn't have busted through my forest with the dragon because the dragon makes it immune. Yeah. So you could have stuck around forever. forever. Holy crap! This is a big turn. That's one of us. Dean, not bad. Nice. Not bad. Hmm. Okay, my turn now. Now, now how does the I'll... champion bring it home? <laughs> Pretty much. I guess I'll just grab the dwarves. Honestly, if I may make a suggestion, seafaring yeah. would be a good one because it counts as three empty regions. That's true. Actually, you really want seafaring as early as possible. Yes. Because no, no one, one else can ever take it then, yeah. Um, yeah. Obviously, the ghoul power oh. doesn't matter as much. But yeah, so yeah. seafaring, you can actually deploy it on water. So and it counts as okay. three regions. Dwarves yeah, would I start with extra then. coins and get extra coin from forests and, and mines. You'd have to like do the math mm. and compare yeah. like which one gives you. I think, it, if anything, it'd be like a difference of one coin either way. Yeah, I Which I doubt matters to you at this point. That's right, matter. There's some money bags over there. Okay. Conquer things. If you come in right at the north, you've got forest and a mine right there. Yeah. And then another mine just a little bit further south of it. There might it's be another east, spot. But if you far away come in from the west, or you've got a, you can start... Southeast. Um, I don't see forest and the mine. What are you so, talking about? Well, at the very top of the screen, where my triton is, that's forest. Yep. And then there's a mine right next to it. The icon. Yeah. Oh, you mean in a different region, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah different yes, region. I don't yes. think there's any forest. I'll turn... Oh, too late. I was going to say that you could have started on the west as well in the swamp, then... Oh, no, actually, that's a dragon. Never mind. Yeah, well, you could have gone to the Triton just above it and then gone to the mountains. No, it's already done. In yeah. the southeast does have forest, mine, forest, but... Mm. You don't if have you that many. Three. You only get seven dwarves there. Come on, roll a three. But the advantage of the dwarves is they get their bonus gold from mines even when in the climb. Yeah. Wow. There you go. Well done. I told you. Roll well a three. Done. Death machine. This is how you win. You roll threes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think it's going to be very close. No. He's still got eight. Wow, that is a lot. So the winner yeah. is. Winner Mark is. Here. Not me. Of this, I'm certain. What? Wow. Oh, really? no. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually thought... I'm, I'm losing. I'm totally losing. <laughs> I actually thought there was a possibility. I was starting to think about it. Mm -hmm. And. I never had a good presence on the map, and I didn't get a lot of like those turns. But you but had some very the, good. Like I took wealthy, and I took yeah. the other dude that had four coins. Yeah. So that's eleven extra coins I got. Yeah, right. Without mm -hmm. taking any territory, so that means I would have had an eighty-seven. I would have been third place, except for the extra money there. Yeah. No, that 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 was a surprise. I'm quite amused. The Shen and Mob had exactly the same amount as well. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah. Hey, considering this was my first game ever, I think I did okay. Yeah, you yeah. did amazingly it's, well. I thought it started so strong as well. Like you yeah. had like your first three turns. I think you were a wrecking ball. Yeah. And yeah. I thought we're gonna maybe like crush it, but maybe we were targeted you. The Amazons too, right? Yeah. Yeah. You start too strong, you get targeted, you get shut down. Yeah, it's it's quite often how how these sorts of things happen. In Armello, it's exactly the same thing. Yeah. It's, it's one of those things. You go try and play subtle and then just kind of sneak to victory, it seems. Taco Town! <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope everyone enjoyed this session of, uh, of Quartz. Right? Yes, we're all <laughs> Scallywags here. Playing Small World, one of my favorite board games. Yeah. It's fast, it's easy to explain, and it's kind of funny. And I love the race mechanic and the recycling of them. Yeah. And the combos are really fun. There's a couple of expansions for it as well that add some nice oh, variety. Also, if you guys click on the game stats in the top right corner, there are some really interesting stats in there. Oh, that's right. How many, how many coins from each race, what the preferred victim is. Wow, that's you made 39 off the humans. Really that's a lot more than I expected. Yeah. I oh, made 57 from the rats. rats. Wow. <laughs> wow. Holy crap. <laughs> That is madness. Shen actually made victim, and rightfully so. And you two both went after me. Mm -hmm. Bastards. <laughs> and yet we still. And you still get won. You. We still couldn't get you. <laughs> yeah. Interestingly, Shen had a fairly and you rolled the middle of the road kind of. You had thirty nine out of the giants because they once they were on those mountains, no one ever tried to dislodge them. No, they're a pain in the ass. They're not yeah. worth it unless someone is clearly the leader. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I love this display. It's really helpful. That that Dragon of Tritons though really pulled it back for you. The 30 oh, yeah. right at the end. That was really strong. It wasn't it wasn't even so much that you got a lot of points with the Dragon Titans. It was that you denied a bunch of points with them. Yeah. yeah they yeah. were yeah. really yeah. useful. Like if I denied at least six points from Marbazir, then that was it. Or even if it was like a three point swing, right? If I took yeah. three away from him and then took three for myself, that accounts for our difference in score. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
No, that was that was really good. Really enjoyed that. Yeah, that Thanks. was great. I hope everyone uh, checks the description box down below. We'll have links to everyone's channel and uh, stay okay. tuned for some more board game nights in the future. Thanks for See watching. Time, folks. Take care, Bye -bye. everyone. See you next time.